We're afraid of everyone, afraid of the sun. Ah, solution. Yeah, sorry about that, but uh, I can't do any of the songs justice, of course. But there you go. I don't expect to. I hope you don't expect me to. Anyway, good morning. Uh, it's just um, early. And um, I thought I'd better show my face just to say I too have no idea what's going on. Apart from the something big coming, I would say. By what's been laid out, what's all the lies that have been told to keep us isolated. Um, and one thing I will um, say um, my local hospital, it's, the car park's usually full. Um, I drove past it the other day, a couple of days ago, and the car park was, I would say, a quarter full maybe a third full but probably fewer cars than, than that probably i've ever seen um it's only a small hospital but um what it usually deals with um is outpatients and the elderly kind of palliative care sort of uh, you know people too ill to go into a nursing home or they can't deal with them and so they're there. So I would have thought, being focused on the elderly, they may have had, well, you know what I'm talking about. It's just bullshit, isn't it? Anyway, I'm, I'm very pleased that Dell's been opening his platform for people to speak about this, um, to voice their opinions, etc. But I wish I could go on, but I just, you know, the circumstances at the moment, of course, no. Uh, internet where I live, so hey, uh, um, and because we're all isolating, nobody will invite me around. So. And I don't, you know, I don't want to impose myself, and and because um, you you kind of treated like a leper at the moment, uh, you know, one is treated like a leper. Stay away, and uh, don't breathe on me. Well. Yeah. Uh, so I've, I've no idea what's going on. Something big, I would imagine, because of all the military hardware that's been moved around. Um, they're using a great tactic, um, a pandemic. It's a brilliant tactic to keep everybody um, away from each other. Um, the only method of communication now really is the internet. In fact, uh, it's closed. I don't. I don't see why it should be, but people are talking about that. Then, if it were, if it <clears throat> if it is closed, then that's it. We scuppered. It could be a carrier pigeon, something like that. Smoke signals. So, uh, if you want to know how I'm feeling, you know, if you do, because I can't express myself uh, on an open platform such as Dell's, then I'll tell you. I am pissed off with being the restrictions laid upon us all. Um, makes you feel a bit um, uneasy going out. You don't want to get, I don't I hate confrontation, but if the fuckers want to stop me, I will uh, you know, tell them it's all a load of bullshit and stop them. How dare you stop me on my travels and all that. <clears throat> But I don't want to have to do that. I think it's, it, the whole thing is a completely um, pointless charade uh, in, in as much as a, a virus is going to get you, because that's bullshit. But uh, as to what's coming, I really don't know. So that makes me anxious. Um, I don't like uncertainty, although you could say that we we never certain from one day to the next, but mm, in my 54 years of life, I always knew the morning was going to be, well, kind of, maybe not always, <laughs> but mostly, you know, what's coming next day, okay. 
and the routine that you settle into or the rut is kind of gone isn't it it's, and it's great for people to have a load of time off work i think that is a good thing people hopefully will find out will study we'll get to know the human mind and how it easily is to be fooled and um fashioned into what we see today but that's about it i might add some photographs on the end of here or some spring views of where i live maybe anyway be good to each other don't get pissed off with each other being such close proximity um i know what that's like um i i was married once <laughs> so but you know seriously though um take care of those who are precious to you and that's that's that should always be happening Ta-da.